will always say that a man will always find time to do what he wants to do. But the Chinese proverb puts it even better. That he who wants to sing will always find a song. For us, we are doing the song of agriculture. We will be looking at farm structures, subtropic livestock structures. And in this case, we will discuss a plant tree, which is very important in the rearing of livestock, and especially cattle. This is the first part of a cattle dip. We call it the animal holding yard. The animal are held here before they are allowed to pass through the foot bath and into the dip. Now this part here should preferably be cemented so that animals do not gather mud as they go into the dip and soil it. The second part is this part here which is supposed to be 4 meters wide by 20 centimeters deep. This section is known as a footpath. It should preferably be cemented or made of concrete. And this is to remove the mud that will be present in the animal's hooves. Again, we have said to avoid soiling of the deep wash. Now, the footpath is very essential. Why? Because it contains the chemicals that are supposed to control food rot. One of the chemicals that can be used is copper 2 sulfate, which is supposed to be 5 to 10 percent copper sulfate solution. Or you can use formalin, which is 2 to 5 percent uh, solution. The next part is the jump. And the jump is this part here, which has short steps. This is a place from which the animals are going to plunge into the deep. Then we have the deep tank, which has the jump on this side and the steps on the other side. The deep tank should be 5 meters long at the bottom, 8 meters long at the top, and 1.6 meters deep. There are several steps which start from the bottom of the deep tank so that the animals can climb very easily. Now this part here is known as the draining race. The draining race is where the animals will come when they are moving out of the deep tank. They will be having a lot of deep wash and therefore it will be dripping from the body and onto the ground. Now it is important to realize that that a carry side will be flowing back into the deep tank. But this part here may be soiled, as you can see. So there is a diversion here, which is made, that is going to all the way to what we call the seal trap outlet. The seal trap outlet traps all the seal that will be present, and then allows the acaricide back through a small pipe that is somewhere here. So the seal trap is outside where all the silt is left and then the acaricide can drift back all the way to the deep tank. Once the animals have been dipped, they are held for a short period of time in this part here that we call the drying yard. And the reason why we do that is to avoid the contamination of pastures with the acaricide, which may poison the animals. The other part is the roof. Pia wakati mvua inanyesha isi isi mix na hiyo dawa kwa sababu dawa imeshakorogwa mm -hmm. na ikipita ile minimum ya dawa, dawa limit ya yani limit penye maji imefika mm -hmm. yani dawa isichanganye na nini kawa ipunguze effectiveness ya eh, dawa ipunguze effectiveness eh, okay. yeah. na ku avoid evaporation evaporation pia okay. eh. na hapa kwa nini mshiki uh, hapa badala kuachilia tu aende kwa kwa nyasi wakafuli okay mm. Hapa hivi tunashikilia hivi ku, ku, 
kubakisha hiyo dawa yani kuna dawa wamebeba mm. ikisema tupungue mm. wataenda na hiyo dawa okay. na itakuwa sasa ukienda na hiyo dawa huko yeah. kwa rangi yetu dawa inapunguka sasa wao yeah. oh, wana stay hapa yeah. wamwage dawa yeah. alafu hiyo dawa irudi tena ndani okay. na wao mnaifanya hapa how long after every one week one week okay. friday so every friday every friday kuna waleta kwa dip okay ni routine. Eh routine. Every Friday. Yeah. Every Friday ni waleta. Thank you very much. I know you have learned starting from the extreme side where we have the animal holding yard. There is a foot bath. There is a jump. Then into the deep wash, the steps and the draining ways. Then you have the roof which is very important in controlling the uh, dilution of a carcite by rain and evaporation then we have the tank there which holds water and then we have the seal trap outlet that traps the silt and the dirt i know students that you have learned a lot from this session don't forget to drop a comment like this video and subscribe for more lessons We'll bring them to you. Thank you for watching.